So you're looking for the perfect sensitivity in COD Mobile? Well, you've come to the right place because today I'm going to be helping you find the best sensitivity. Obviously, sensitivity plays a massive role on how good you play the game, and that's why you need to find the right sensitivity for you, and I'm here to help you do that. We're going to be going over every types of sensitivities in the game, and I'll give you a range for each sensitivity so you can find the right value for you. And by the way, make sure to go to the training mode and try out the values I'm going to tell you to have the best result. But yeah, now let's get started with part one, which is our camera sensitivity. Camera sensitivity is your sensitivity when you're moving around the map doing things like running throwing grenades and all those good stuff all you need to know is that unless you're firing your gun you're using your camera sensitivity if you go to the settings the first sensitivity you're going to find under the camera section is the standard sensitivity in most cases you're going to be using your standard sensitivity so it's a good idea to keep it high for better movements keep it in the range of 180 to 220 for the best results all right so now you're done with the standard sensitivity and below that you're going to find the ads sensitivity the ads sensitivity is activated when you scope in with your gun and that's why this is one of the most important sensitivities because this is the sensitivity you're going to use to make your aim. Now you have to keep your ADS sensitivity lower than your standard sensitivity, but not to the point where you can't make flicks. So I recommend keeping your ADS sensitivity in the range of 160 to 210. If you do that, you'll have an ADS sensitivity that's lower than your standard sensitivity and you'll be able to do flicks as well. And also there's another thing called red dot sensitivity, but it's basically the same thing. So you should use the same values for both red dot and ADS. The sniper scope sensitivity is also very important because it's a big part of sniping and COD mobile. This sensitivity gets activated when you scope in with your sniper and obviously you have to keep it lower than your ADS sensitivity. Everything you do from quick scoping to hard scoping to slide scoping depends on the sniper scope sensitivity. That's why you should keep your sniper scope sensitivity in the 110 to 140 range. This range is not as high as your ADS sensitivity but not that low either so yeah it's a pretty good range. But yeah we're almost done with the camera sensitivity part but here's all the other less important sensitivities on this tab. There's not really any range for these sensitivities so just make sure to use the solid values. Anyways before we move on to part 2 let me tell you about a game you should try. World of Warship is an extremely fun game where you get to fight with some awesome battleship. And the cool thing is that these ships are made based on real historical documents of different countries. Yeah, all of these are real life battleship. In fact, there's more than 500 ships in this game from 11 different nations, including destroyers, cruisers, battleships, aircraft carriers, and even submarines. And you get to play with all these awesome ships on some beautiful maps thanks to the amazing graphics of this game. I've been playing this game for the past few days and I have to say it's awesome. And if you sign up with the link in the description, you'll get an exclusive starter pack which includes 500 doubloons, 7 days of premium, 2 million credits, a tier 4 battleship, and 6 skilled commanders. So make sure to click the link on the description and download World of Warship. But now let's move on to part 2 of this video where we're gonna talk about the firing sensitivity. Your firing sensitivity is activated when you're shooting with your gun, no matter if it's a sniper, shotgun, or an SMG. So it does play a pretty important role on how well you play the game. The first firing sensitivity you're gonna find is the standard sensitivity and you should keep that in the range of 80 to 110. And obviously you have to keep your firing sensitivities low lower than your camera sensitivities that we talked about in part 1 in order to have a better aim and that is the reason why we're using lower values in part 2. Moving on to the ADS sensitivity, keep that in the 130 to 150 range. The ADS sensitivity in my opinion is the most important sensitivity in the game because this is the main sensitivity that's used for aiming in COD Mobile so it's a good idea to keep it low so you can have better control of the recoil of your gun. And just like we did in part 1, make sure to keep the red dot sensitivity the same as your ADS sensitivity because obviously it's the same thing. But yeah, the next sensitivity you need to change is the sniper scope sensitivity. The sniper scope sensitivity is not really that important in part 2. In fact, it might ruin your sniping. You don't want your sniper to move as soon as you fire a shot, so you should keep the sniper scope sensitivity at 0. Keeping this value at 0 will ensure that your sniper is stable so you can hit more of your shots. But as you can tell, it is a pretty useless sensitivity. Something that's not useless is the vertical turning sensitivity. This is activated when you look up or down while firing your gun. And it's not going to be the same as looking left to right if you decide to keep it different from your standard sensitivity. And honestly, I think keeping it different is not a logical thing to do because you're not gonna know how much you need to move your finger to make the proper aim and that's why you should keep the value of your vertical turning sensitivity the same as your standard sensitivity and here's all the other less important sensitivities on the firing sensitivity tab feel free to copy the exact values of these sensitivities and if you use gyroscope then here are the sensitivities you need to be using if you need to pause the video then make sure to do that and have a look at all these sensitivities a lot of people have been asking for my sensitivity code so here it is i don't recommend using my exact sensitivities because we're all different but if you still need it then here it is and if you want to learn about some pro settings in cod mobile then make sure to check out this video i talked about some really powerful settings on that video so i highly recommend watching that video but that's all for today and i'll see you guys later peace out